Hey there, Brent and Anna. Amy here. I spoke to Sam yesterday. He said I could send this video over to you. Here's the video we talked about. I'm a local business owner just like yourselves and know that COVID shook a lot of businesses up. So I'm just going to show you what you can do to get a more predictable and steady flow of customers. I'm pretty much going to explain to you three things that you can do today to really bring value to your company and start getting more customers through your door, okay? Often local business owners like yourself are too busy running your business to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation that you guys have to hiring somebody is they don't really know who is an expert and who isn't. I found that giving people an easy free attack plan of actual things you can do to impact your business has resulted in some of those business owners raising their hands and saying, I like you, Amy, please do this for me. So if by the end of this video, you like what you heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help you with your business, shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video, you simply want to take this free attack plan that I'm giving you and do it yourself, that works for me too. The very first thing I want to go over is your website and what we call content. So when someone searches for, let's just say AC Repair Austin, Google crawls websites on the internet searching and ranking the sites. It's looking for keywords. It's looking for what should this site be found for. So when we go through here, see you have some nice photos and a beautiful layout. See a little bit of content, but not a whole lot of content. And one thing I can tell you about Google is Google loves content. So Google likes to see about 2,000 words on your front page. And we're looking at right now with your site is we're probably sitting at about 750-ish words on this page. So adding about 1,200 words of content with keywords that you're trying to target, it's going to help you get found for those keywords. We'll talk a little bit more about keywords here in a second, but not only does Google just look at your site, but when Google comes into your site, they can't tell what they should be ranking you for if you don't have any keyword specific things on here. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at your competitor here. So when I looked up AC Repair Austin, these guys came up. And when we start scrolling through their website, we see content here, pictures. They have about 1,100 words on here, very beatable in terms of content. So what does this mean? Well, this right here is a tool I use called Arefs. It allows me to see every keyword you're ranking for, how much traffic you get into your site. And we can see here that you are getting found for 215 keywords, and you had about 109 people to your site last month okay so when we jump in here and we look at your competitor we can see that they're getting found for 659 keywords right they had 950 people a month or last month to their site and when we go in and we look at some of these keywords let's see here i'm going to put them in position order uh, we have air conditioning austin ac installation austin AC Contractors, Austin Tech, so they're number one on all of those keywords. So just those three keywords alone, that's almost 200 clicks a month that you are missing out on. So once we do the first thing of getting the right content on your site and getting the right keywords on your site, the next thing is to go and find what we call backlinks, okay? So what are backlinks? Backlinks are pretty much, let's say another HVAC site from Austin, Round Rock, or even Florida. It just needs to be in your kind of field, HVAC, linking back to your site, saying that you're the most popular one here. So the way that Google works, it's like a popularity contest back in high school, you know. The more sites we get linking into your site, the more popular it tells Google you are, and the more they want to rank you for these keywords. So we need to go out and we look at your competitors. We see that they have 166 referring domains linking back to their site. So we have to beat it and not all backlinks are created equal. So getting a link from Starbucks linking to you is not going to be as powerful as say a home improvement or supply company or something like that linking back to you to tell Google that you're relevant, you're in the right niche and you're popular. That's what we want to go after. Okay. So we have about 166 referring domains. Now we don't want to get the same amount as them when it comes to links. We want to beat them by either doubling their amount or simply going out and finding quality links with more power to really start beating out the competition, to outrank them, and to take that traffic. Okay. Then last but not least, I want to talk to you about the third thing we need to go get, and that's what we call citations. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the map pack before. That's right here. And then just below that is called organic. Now, I looked up AC Repair 
Austin, and you are on page two at number 17. Now keep in mind that the sites on page one on Google will take 80% of the traffic. To get to the top of organic, we've got to get those keywords up, we've got to get all the links coming into your site, and then get into this map pack right here. We have to go after what we call citations, and a citation is your name, address, and phone number throughout the web on as many directories as possible. And a directory is like Yelp, Yext, City Star, all those directories that are out there. We want to get your business listed on them. It tells Google that you're legit. So I put you in this tool, and you had about 37 citations, and your competitor who's beating you had 273 citations. My recommendation is to go out and get as many as you can. This will take you about 20 minutes per citation, okay? So when you come in the map pack and you click on View All, this is for AC Repair Austin. You are at number 11. I can just show you. There you go, right here. So goal is to be in the top three position because that's where 20% of the clicks on Google are going to go to, okay? So once again, we went over content. We got to get the content on your site. You've got a beautiful looking site, but we got to get the keyword relevant content on there. Then once we have that, we want to go after those backlinks, right? We need to get your backlinks up, start driving traffic to where you're getting a, a lot more people a month to your site. And once we have that, we want to turn around and we want to go after those citations. So those are the three things I think have implemented today. It's really going to get you found on Google and drive more customers to your business. I've shown you one competitor and one keyword search. There are dozens of buyer intent keywords for the HVAC industry that we could capture the traffic of hundreds of clicks per month that you aren't getting. So what now? Well, you can either go with this information I provided you and do this on your own, and I am totally cool with that. However, if you want the most effective route, you want to save yourself time, you can give me a call. And here is my contact info right there. And uh, let's see, that's my cell phone number, 979-709-1593. If you guys do utilize these three steps I gave you today, you will be ranking on Google, you will be bringing in more customers, and you will be making more money. So don't take this with a grain of salt. And make sure you actually implement what you learn here today, and it's definitely going to help you move forward. So also, if you want to know more about us, you can look up, let me just pull up my website here. So that's my website. It's Lodestar SEO. Dot com. Or again, you can call me on my cell phone. Um, I'm looking forward to following up with you guys to get your thoughts. You have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.